when you see babies' things in the street, and sometimes they're very dirty or, or they've been trodden on, you always feel heartfelt towards them. You don't know what to do. You've, it's like you should pick them up and protect them, but also you mustn't touch them. It's like you should leave them there. And I always think of when you see a little sock or a little mitten that it's come off a baby's hand. It's from this warm, clean, beautiful little thing. It then goes out into the street, this kind of dirty, treacherous, scary place. It's funny because I've decided to collect these things. Now that I've decided to collect them over the years, I never find them anymore. Foundlings and fledglings are angels of this earth. Little birds, fledgling birds, that fall out of their nests. Exactly the same as it's like the children that would have been put in this institution. Um, they fell out of their nest as well, and they needed to be protected and they needed to be looked after. The Foundling Museum was the first ever orphanage in Britain, and coincidentally, it was also the first public art gallery in Britain at exactly the same time. In the 1740s, when Thomas Coram founded it, he had the help of two extraordinary people. One was the composer Handel, and the other was the painter Hogarth. So there has been a tradition ever since the 1740s in working with contemporary artists. Well, this picture here is a work that I made in Bethnal Green around one of the little back streets there, and there's a lot of itinerant children live around that area, brought up quite wildly, and maybe not in ideal parenting situations. In the story of Romulus and Remus, you get these little wild children brought up by wolves. They're suckling on these animals. Just something really quite physical and raw about that, which I wanted to redo again in urban London. If you're the social services and you get involved with the kids that you see to being unruly or not being brought up quite right, then the parents will be quite fiercely protective over the children and their rights to actually hold on to them. As uh, viewers, we're kind of trespassing on their little spot really there, so this dog is giving a little warning not to get too close that we should kind of stay away. Protective and aggressive at the same time. There's a lot of different pictures that I use, different dogs in different positions and different babies. So I've probably had about 200 babies and 200 dogs. And so you, then you've got to try each dog with each baby. There's a lot of time with this one and that one, that one and this one, this one and that one. It meant a lot to me to do this. Oratario in Portuguese is a little praying box that people have in their rooms and they've got the saints in it and so on and they say their prayers in front of it. Now, I based my, this picture, this, this construction, on one my mother had. I didn't want it as a, re a really religious one in, in that straightforward sense, but I loved that feeling of intimacy, of having all this kind of suffering and complication in the house. This is the, the woman, the mother, the, the, the grown-up woman who gives birth to a child that in, ends up in the founding museum. And there she's at a rape. She's giving birth in, by the moonlight. Over there, they, they have their hair cut quite short. And there she's having a little bit of a dancing rape. And there she's dancing with death. The one on the right at the end, she's dancing with death, which is quite a relief, really. And here they're just throwing, throwing them down the well. And I actually made, made a well in my studio with a big armchair and a, and a, a mattress around it and made it so as real as possible and put these figures around it. Downstairs in the gallery space where Matt Collishaw and Paul Rego and I show together, I have a series of drawings from 1990. Um, I was pregnant in 1990 and I did a series of drawings of mother and child drawings. Very sad, very genuine drawings that I made 20 years ago. So I think that with these drawings will surprise people. That's not what they expect from me. I don't think people would expect all three of us to be shown in this museum together. It's quite sad for me, the whole thing, the whole experience. Within the museum, there's things that are very sad. Like if you look at the mementos and the things that people left behind. Mothers would come here, hand over their babies, and they would also hand in, say, three buttons. So on the chance that they could come back and see the child, they'd say, I'm your mother, I left three buttons with you, as proof, as surety that they were the real mother. I mean, it's really, really heartbreaking. <laughs>